Hello everyone, this is me, Dr. Shikha Kumari from SPKS Medical College from Vadodara. I'm here to present a paper on evaluation of portal hypertension using color Doppler ultrasound. Portal hypertension is defined by an increase of the pressure gradient between the portal vein and the inferior vena cava above 5 mmHg. Liver cirrhosis is the most common cause. Etiologies are broadly classified as prehepatic, intrahepatic, and posthepatic. The aims of this study are to assess the role of color Doppler in cases of portal hypertension compared to grayscale ultrasound and to analyze the spectrum of imaging findings on grayscale ultrasound in these cases. The methodology included assessing parameters such as portal vein diameter, flow velocity, direction, flow patterns, spleen size, formation of collaterals and the hepatic vein damping index. A total of 57 patients were included in this study, spanning from a period of June 2025 to August 2025. All patients underwent an ultrasound examination using a GE Logic P9 machine. Inclusion criteria included clinical suspicion of portal hypertension and chronic liver disease, while hemodynamically unstable patients were excluded. From the above analysis, we found the results as 82% of the patients had an enlarged liver and 67% showed coarse and heterogeneous liver echotexture, of which 47% of the uh, patients had an enlarged portal vein diameter of 13 mm or more and 81% had a hepatic vein damping index of less than 0.6. Now, regarding the uh, splenic findings, 74% of patients exhibited splenomegaly the spleen vein diameter was enlarged in 65% of the patients. Splenic vein flow was predominantly hepatopetal at 88%. Next, the periportal collaterals were the most common, observed in 47% of the patients. And ascites was present in 67% of the cases. The majority of portal vein flow patterns were hepatopetal at 86%. These images illustrate normal portal vein anatomy, portal gavernoma, multiple peripancreatic collaterals, and a normal portal venous flow waveform. Other images show centrifugal portal vein flow, a biphasic waveform in the portal vein, perihepatic free fluid, and the normal triphasic form of the hepatic vein. Doppler ultrasonography is a non-invasive tool for evaluating hepatic and portal hemodynamics. Changes in the hepatic vein waveform, especially the transformation from triphasic to biphasic or even monophasic, are important for assessing portal hypertension. The hepatic vein damping index quantifies this abnormality. In this study, most patients were male, aged between 45 to 55 years, which is typical for chronic liver disease, often linked to alcohol consumption. Consistent with the previous study, splenomegaly and the portal vein diameter greater than 13 mm were common findings. Sonography is an effective tool for demonstrating collateral veins and diagnosing portal hypertension. Furthermore, the damping index of the hepatic vein waveform may serve as a non-invasive supplementary tool for evaluating the severity of portal hypertension in cirrhotic patients. In conclusion to this, color Doppler sonography is a valuable non-invasive method for characterizing the portal vein and identifying portosystemic collaterals in portal hypertension. The hepatic vein damping index correlates well with the severity of liver dysfunction in cirrhosis cases. These are some of the references used in the preparation of my video. Thank you for being patient and watching this video.